Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. In this video, we will be going over step seven in our accounting cycle for corporations. We will be preparing an income statement. So when you are preparing this income statement, you are going to need two tabs from our work workbook. You are going to need the adjusted trial balance tab, and we are also going to need the financial statements tab. Um, if you would like to work along with us, please feel free to go to our website. I will link to that in the description below, and you'll be able to pull this worksheet as well as other resources. So when you're preparing your income statement, which is the first statement in the financial statement series, um, I uh, my personal opinion is the first thing you should always do is move over to your adjusted trial balance and take a moment to categorize all of the accounts on that trial balance. So on our adjusted trial balance, you'll see that we have this series of accounts. Let's determine which of these are assets, liabilities, capital, so on and so forth. Right. So cash is an asset. Accounts receivable is an asset, supplies, assets, prepaid rent, assets, equipment, assets. Uh, here when we get to our uh, accumulated depreciation, keep in mind that this is a contra asset. So I'm just going to go ahead and star it so that we know that it is a contra. Uh, moving on to our uh, liabilities, we have accounts payable, salaries payable, unearned revenue, cash dividends payable, and that will be it for our liabilities. Then moving into our common stock and preferred stock and all of those different equity items. Um, I'm gonna call them capital, but keep in mind equity is another name for these. That's a capital, that's a capital, that's a capital. Here's a special one. Keep in mind treasury stock, since this is us buying back our own stock. This one here is a contra capital. Same deal here, these are cash dividends. These are kind of like the uh, drawing account that you saw for a proprietorship. Those will also be a contra. Uh, consulting revenue, consulting revenue will be a revenue account, also known as income, and then we have our expenses. Now when we go to tackle our financial statements, it's important to know the basic formulas for each one. The first one that we have here is an income statement. And keep in mind that the basic formula for the income statement is revenues minus expenses equals net income, right? So really the only elements that we need to be grabbing from our adjusted trial balance here are the revenues and the expenses down here. I'll bold them for this video. So these are going to be the only counts that we're really dealing with for this particular income statement. So let's start with our revenues. I'm going to grab my one revenue account for this company. And I'm going to put that total amount off on the right hand side. Keep in mind when we get to financial statements, these two columns are not debits and credits. They are simply for formatting. Okay. Our next item uh, are our expenses. Since we have more than one expense, we are going to start by making a list, and that way we know that everything below that is a list here. So we have a few expenses. I'm going to type those out now. We have salary expense, rent expense, we have supplies expense, we have depreciation expense, advertising expense, utilities expense and we do have one more but since it has a balance of zero I'm actually going to leave it off of the income statement some textbooks would like you to put those zero balances so please just refer to your textbook to see if they want you to put a zero in there since this is a list I'm going to go ahead and put all of my expenses on the left hand side so I can total them up to the right Make it very clear which one is part of the main formula and which one is just a list. Perfect. So now that we have all of our expenses listed, we can do total expenses. And we are going to add up all of those items. 3,500 plus 6,000 plus 1,000 plus 700, 13, 5, and 800. So our total expenses at this point come out to 25500 So now you see we have our revenues, 
we have our expenses. Our last step is to subtract those to find our net income. I'm going to do a little bit of Excel here. Revenues minus our expenses sell. Net income of $96,500. Now, keep in mind, uh, that's actually quite impressive for this company. That's a really good net income figure, considering they only have $122,000 worth of revenue. But keep in mind that this type of income statement that we are showing here is a single step income statement. So for your company, you might be dealing with a company that uses a multi-step. If your textbook does use multi-step income statements, I will link to an example of one of those below. In this case, this is just a service company. Uh, it doesn't really require a lot of the extra steps uh, that we use in a multi-step income statement. So a single step would suffice for this type of problem. All right, now that we've finished our income statement, the next step will be to move on to our statement of retained earnings. I'll go ahead and upload a separate video of this just to ensure that we have enough time to really give it justice, All right? So until next time, happy studying.